Welcome back to Loose Women this Wednesday lunchtime. It is January and we're with a cold, dark morning. It's a wonder how any of us managed to make it out of bed. But lucky London listeners are finding waking up a lot easier thanks to our next two guests' breakfast show. Please welcome Jamie Theakston and Emma Bunton. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were looking at me all the way through that as if, is she talking about us? <laughs> is, it, is, that, <laughs> is, is that us? How are you both? Really good. You're so really perky. Good. What time did you get up this morning? Uh, he gets up a little bit earlier than me. My alarm goes off at half four. <gasps> so I'm not, this is, we're not far off kind of bedtime. Yes, really for us no, today. it's true. Oh. Yeah. But um, no, it's going well. It's, it's really good fun. We laugh all the way through it. And I'm loving it, actually. Really it's just the early it. mornings, isn't it? Because I did it Radio London for a week and yeah. I was so miserable, I can't tell you. It was like <laughs> trying to go to bed at like 10 o'clock the night before and you can't <gasps> make yourself sleep. Good. And it's like, as you said, you're up at like half past four and five, so it's such yeah. a long it's day. Definitely isn't a skill, isn't it? We've got a fantastic question of Fiona. We've got loads of questions, actually. And it's for you, Jamie, love. Jamie, it's been said that Emma isn't a morning person. <laughs> Have you been on the receiving end of her, one of her moods yet? She, you know what, she's been absolutely brilliant. You know, it's been, it's difficult for Emma, you know, having to work for a living and... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and with the early starts. But we love each other, don't we? Listen, I love you. I love you. I love you, Mark. No, more. I love you. Oh, it was early days, oh. Oh. Yeah. How long have you been together? Wait, did you know <laughs> I mean, I, I did 12 years of breakfast telly, Whoa. so I, and, and actually, the difference between telly and radio, it, you have to look good on the telly. Do you, do you relax a little bit, looks-wise, in terms of, you know, do you are you looking trying, beautiful now? But do you see how go... beautiful she looks yes. now? Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so cheeky. Uh, no, I do put a little bit of mascara yeah. on still, but again, that might change. Yeah. <laughs> you never yeah. know. But again, we just, we do have a ball, we laugh a lot. Jamie is really funny. Is he? <laughs> So I'm you, I can't believe that you got away with starting an hour later than I he know, starts. I know, I know. So you start at seven and Jamie starts at six. Yeah, I can't. I don't understand. How did that work? How, did, how, how does that happen? For well, the thing thing? is, because Jamie is so funny and, and you know, he's just <laughs> brilliant on his own for You're an good. hour, mm. I then come in and kind of just, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you found out any horrible little habits that he has that perhaps television viewers don't see? What's his radio? He's got loads. Oh, he doesn't gone. share his breakfast. He doesn't make me tea. Mm. Um, he's busy. Uh, he's got a show. He doesn't to do. share any of these jokes with me. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, he hasn't got any bad habits just yet. How are you finding it, Jamie? Because obviously you've been doing the slot for a wee while now, and obviously you know how it's gone and, and uh, Emma's come in. Is it difficult adjusting to a, a, a new girly? Well, it's um, Emma and I have known each other for probably twenty more years. More yeah. So when did you first remember. meet? Back oh, on, uh, was it, was on the, the Ozone? Ozone? It was either the Ozone or I thought it was Live and Kicking when Jamie used to present wow. Live and Kicking. Uh, the Spice Girls were on that load, so we got to know each other. I think we did one very of your well. first ever TV interviews. Yeah, and he asked Jerry out live on air. <gasps> and and he's I was bullied into it by you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't remember. No, I don't know if they did or not. I think that was kept a bit of a secret. No, nothing happened. No. Well, yeah. Now he loves me the most. Exactly. So, yeah. yes, Emma, you, you've done radio question. presenting before because obviously you've had you've had your own show slightly later in, yes, in the I day. Yes, I have. I've got my own show on a Saturday. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but the the mornings are different. Because I, I really have enjoyed the morning. As I've got two little boys now, yeah. so I'm kind of used to that. But um, isn't it easier doing an early morning show because you get out before they get up? Exactly. It's so hard getting out the door when they're up. If you can get out yeah. before they're even out of bed. But also for a mum, it's the perfect job, really, because you can get there, you do the show, you get back, and you can spend yeah. the rest of the time with your kids. You know, yeah. like mine are four that, yeah. and three, yeah. and I can spend the whole, you know, I can get a chance to spend the whole day with them. What about preparing the show? Who chooses all the music for it? Well, we spend a lot of time and effort. Uh, studying our audience and they give us sort of feedback as to what they like to listen to and uh, and we kind of play the music that they want to hear so yeah. it's really the audience chooses really. you choose yeah but who puts together the playlist and the running order of the show the producers do She's that very yeah. specific. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no because jamie i presented a show when a commercial radio started in the morning at nine o'clock and it, i it, for me nine o'clock was a nightmare <laughs> and i would pray for it to come in and have some kind of running order that i could just hold so, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, we ha we've got, we've got, uh, we've got, I think I would just pretty understand the kind of music we play. Yeah, uh, we try to, we keep it up, don't we, in the mornings? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lovely, it's a very cheerful station yeah, in, it in itself, right the way across the board. And, the bre and obviously, the, you know, it's the flagship show, The Breakfast Show. Do, do you sort of feel that responsibility at all, or do you just go out and have fun? 
Well, we've got a very loyal audience, you know, and they, and they like what we do and, you know, we just have to kind of send them to work or on the school mm. run with a bit of us kind of spring yeah. in their step, really, mm. that's, yeah. and that's what we're there to do, really. The so. feedback we get is great as well and it's just, yeah, it is, as you said, it's a real up, fun yeah. station at heart and it's just, it plays all my favourites because I love a bit of old, I love a bit of new mm. and that's... What we give them. And we, and we still haven't played a Spice Girls song yet. Probably not. Yeah. That's yeah. Still bad. Yeah. We're going to play one tomorrow. Oh, morning. good. Can <laughs> we ask a little bit about the Olympics and the closing ceremony? Yeah. How was that getting back together with the girls? It was incredible. Best night. In fact, I've spoken uh, to the other girls about it, and uh, I was out with Mousy the other night, and uh, we, it was probably one of the best things we've done as Spice Girls. It Were you was scared on top of the taxi? Because I was looking at that, thinking, look at the heels. Yeah. They're on a taxi. <laughs> that was the that was the, <laughs> Whose idea the was most nerve-wracking part for me. Mm. We just held really? on. There was no... There was a little uh, kind of rail that you could hold oh, on to, but right. still... It was so scary. Now, yeah, but Emma, amazing. I've got to ask you about the musical, because I went to the opening night. I thought yes. it had a fantastic atmosphere. Thank you. And I wrote that I really enjoyed it, but I was astonished to see that quite a few critics really seemed to have it in I, I think, Do you know what? It's so funny, though. The critics have never really been nice about the Spice Girls, so we, you know, that kind of... We just let it go. Yeah. And every night, my mum's been twice, my cousins have been, my friends you know and every night is stand innovation everyone's dancing yeah. in the aisles you know so it's brilliant so we have never done anything mm. for the critics so we you know yeah. we never expected anything back at the that. end of the day it'll be it'll be a word of mouth thing as well in the way that mamma mia just sort of grew and grew and grew and stayed and we will yes. rot you exactly. got terrible, terrible reviews terrible. Mama, really yeah, they all 20 million Lame years later got terrible okay, Lame Miz got terrible you so you know the thing is with our show it is such a fun especially for you know, girls and my yeah. little boy loved it. My mum loved it. Mine. So it's got, it's got that feel for the family, really. And, and the audience want to know if there's any truth in the rumour that the Spice Girls will be reuniting and going on tour. No, no, I no, not as yet. You know, the thing is, we do love working together. You should. Jamie knows them all. <laughs> you girls could be massive. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. You could be up there with girls aloud. <laughs> when they come in next, Jamie, you get them, tell them. Yeah, well, we'll maybe one day, I'm yeah. sure, yeah. What about you, Jamie? You, you were a, a, you were a cheeky little chef on the side. Obviously, you did, you know, Master Chef. Yep. Have you kept, kept it up since then? Well, uh, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine.